Fedora states that telemetry is strictly opt-in, so nothing is collected unless you enable it. But how does this hold up in practice? Given Fedora's connection with Red Hat, a company with deep enterprise ties, you may wonder if there is more happening under the hood. To find out, I have just installed Fedora Workstation 41. I'll run Wireshark and capture all network traffic. Then I will analyze the traffic results with you and see if Fedora truly respects your privacy. First, let's update all packages and repositories using sudo dnf updates. Okay, so apparently I'm already updated because I did this a few minutes ago. Next, I will install Wireshark using sudo dnf install Wireshark. This installation might take a moment, especially if you're on a slower internet. Okay, so now I hit Y and enter. Okay, we are all set. So let's launch Wireshark using sudo Wireshark on the terminal. Okay, I'm selecting a network and we have to give it a while. You can already see that some traffic is beginning to come in. I'll give it some time. In fact, I will leave this to sit for a while and then I'll check back on it. I am back to my computer and I think it's gathered a lot of traffic. So let me export all of this into a text file so that we can properly analyze the data together. Okay, the big question, what traffic did I capture? We have MDNS, then we have NTP. There is also the ARP protocol. Um, I can see SSDP. We have DNS. We have TCP. And we have HTTP. Okay, that's all I can see. So what does this really mean? Should you be worried? Well, let us take them one after the other. We are starting with MDNS, which is Multicast Domain Name Server Queries. These are local network discovery requests often used for devices like printers, file shares, and Chromecast. The captured MDNS queries in my report include Google Cast. And this only indicates that a local device broadcasting is present. Now, the good news is that MDNS does not send data outside your network and it is not telemetry. However, if you don't need it, you can disable it. To disable it, simply run the command you have on the screen and then it should be disabled. Moving on, we have NTP. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol Sync. Your system queries an NTP server so in this case, it's 102.220.17.35. It makes this query to synchronize the clock. And almost every operating system does this to maintain accurate time, which is crucial for security and encryption. So when I say encryption, we are basically talking about SSL certificates, which use this a lot. Now, NTP does not collect or transmit user data. It's only a simple time request. It's not telemetry. So, so far, so good. Next, we have ARP requests. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol, which allows devices on a local network to find each other. Your computer is asking, who has this IP address? This happens within your network and it never gets sent to the internet. So there's no privacy risk here. Okay, we have SSDP detected. This is called Simple Service Discovery Protocol. It is used in discovering devices and services on a local network. Now, it's very common in UPnP setups, so your smart TVs or media servers. SSDP itself is not telemetry, 
but it can be leveraged by other devices that collect telemetry. If you don't need UPnP, then it's possible to disable SSDP, but right now this is no telemetry. Okay, we have DNS queries to fedoraproject.org. DNS resolves domain names into IP addresses. Here, my Fedora system made standard DNS queries to fedoraproject.org. This is likely for updates or connectivity checks. DNS itself is not telemetry, but if applications use DNS to report usage data or to phone home, then it could be part of a telemetry mechanism. You can configure Fedora to avoid network connectivity checks. Run the command you have displayed on the screen and afterwards make sure you set um, connectivity to false. Okay, next we have TCP connections. Now, TCP is the backbone of internet communication. It ensures you have reliable data transmission. It's used here for standard web traffic, including DNS and HTTP connections. TCP itself is no telemetry, but there are cases when it can be used to transfer telemetry data. And finally, we have captured HTTP traffic. So if you notice, there is a HTTP request from my system to the IP address 843.85.67 on port 80. Why HTTP is a standard web protocol? It can be used for telemetry if an application sends analytics, crash reports, or usage data. To determine if this request is telemetry, we would need to analyze where it results to or potentially what it sends. So I'm going to launch the terminal and on the terminal, I'm going to use the command nslookup 843.85.57. This simply tells me where it resolves. From what we have displayed, it returns proxy14.fedoraproject.org. Now, this tells me the following. The domain fedoraproject.org is Fedora's official infrastructure, meaning the request was not made to an unknown third party analytics or telemetry server. So this is what you should know. Fedora operates several servers, typically for software updates, package distribution, and mirror redirection. It will use these proxy servers, like in this case, we have proxy 14 fedoraproject.org, to redirect traffic to the closest mirror for downloading updates and packages efficiently. So this request is likely related to checking for system updates or verifying network connectivity. This is no telemetry. Now, another important question is, what did I not see? First, I didn't see any connections to analytics servers. And in previous videos, I've had people ask for examples of this server, so I'll give a few. Telemetry.microsoft.com, this is Windows Telemetry. Then we have data.apple.com, that's Apple Telemetry. We have google-analytics.com, this is Google Analytics or Google Telemetry. We have stats.mozilla.org, that's Firefox Telemetry. Then there is crashreports.redhat.com. This is potential red hat crash reporting or telemetry. And then we have incoming.telemetry.ubuntu.com. And this is canonical telemetry. Okay, so continuing, I did not see any data sent to Red Hat, Fedora developers, or third party tracking servers. Also, I did not see any hidden telemetry logs. There was no automatic user behavior tracking and there was no outbound traffic beyond essential system services. What is my verdict? Fedora Workstation 41 does not seem to have forced telemetry. The network activity you capture is mostly expected system behavior. So NTP for time sync, DNS for resolving domains, and TCP for communication. 
And so if you're privacy conscious, should you be using workstation, Federal Workstation 41? Of course, it seems to be a solid distro you might trust. Remember, there is telemetry, but it is opt-in, which means by default, you get zero telemetry unless you enable this feature. And that's as far as I share in this video. If you've liked it, please give us a like and share this video. And of course, subscribe to our channel to support us and help us to keep growing. Till the next one, stay safe out there.